guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So fans are asking me, did Drake sabotage Nicki Minaj because he has canceled the OVO um, Young Money concert last minute because he has gotten the C-19. Now, he basically posted on Instagram that he will try to reschedule the concert, um, but he can't do the concert because of the C-19. But honestly, I'm really not shocked that he got it because at the end of the day, he's been out here thotting and bumping. He had a cookout yesterday, okay, when he should have been rehearsing. Um, and he's been traveling the world without a mask. He don't wear a mask. He don't wear condoms, allegedly. I mean, I'm just so sick and tired of Drake. Champagne thickums never really helps Nicki Minaj, okay? He only cares about himself. Do I think that he distinctively sabotaged Nicki Minaj? No. But do I feel like he's very selfish? Yes. Okay? And this is why I do not trust Drake. Okay? Had this been um, a Nicki Minaj concert and not an OVO Fest concert, it would have made Nicki look really bad. Okay? Um, but the good thing is people are still going to be able to enjoy the concert still because he said that he will try to get the concert up and rolling as soon as possible. Um, but people may not be able to go if they took time off. Um, this is why I don't want Drake involved in the fifth thing thing. Um, I don't trust Drake, but I don't think he distinctively sabotaged her, but he is selfish. Um, another thing people were asking about the Freaky Girl title. Um, why is Nicki Minaj not calling the new single Freaky Girl? Well, one, um, I think she's trying to prevent the song from getting um, sabotaged and leaked. Okay, so if people don't know the song title, it's going to be hard for them to leak it. And then on top of that, um, there's a lot of other songs that are called Freaky Girl. Okay, so I think she kind of wants to stand out. Um, but I do feel like she has a plan and she already has a title for Freaky Girl. She's just messing with you guys. She just doesn't want it to get sabotaged. Moving on to the Queen Beyonce. Um, so it looks like fans are coming at her neck because she uses the word spaz and heated. Okay, like twice. So her fans are saying, you used a slur and a song and we called out Lizzo. And now we're going to call out you. But here's the thing, though. I don't feel like they're using it in a derogatory way. Like, when you're talking about spazzing out on somebody, you're not necessarily talking about the disability. And you're not trying to offend the disabled community. But I think people nowadays are more sensitive OK, so, you know, of course, they were going to come after Beyonce, especially since this album ain't that great. No shade. So let me know how you guys feel about that. And if you guys agree with what they're saying. Moving on to Cardi B. Cardi B teases a hiatus. She posted a picture and she said, BRB, be right back. So fans are speculating that she is going on a hiatus. And when she comes back. Um, she will drop the single, okay? Her solo single or a single with, you know, another artist. Personally, to me, I don't care if Cardi B goes on a hiatus or not. I think that she definitely needs one, and I think she should come back in 2023. Um, because at the end of the day, the music that she's been dropping recently hasn't really been that good, okay? First, it was the Summer Walker remix, No Love. Um, that remix was definitely unnecessary. Um, the Shake It song was okay. Um, and, you know, Hot Garbage, you know, that song just wasn't it. But it's not her fault that Hot Garbage basically flopped. I blame Kanye. I think Kanye purposely sabotaged um, Cardi B because he didn't really want to do the record in the first place. And that's why he gave those weak bars. If he had put a fire verse on it, that song would have been a little bit better. Um, Little Dirk, he did a good job. Cardi B's verse was okay. So I feel like she was purposely sabotaged by Kanye. Um, and that's why the song was just completely trash. 
But also, I think she was trying to low-key copy Nicki Minaj, I hate to say it, by collaborating with Kanye and Lil Durk. Um, because she usually don't collaborate with a lot of males except the Migos, okay? So I feel like um, she just wanted to be in that conversation that she can go up against males when it comes to rapping, and clearly um, she cannot. Moving on quickly to Barbie from Euphoria and Zendaya. Allegedly, Barbie, she's not effing with Euphoria or Zendaya. One, Zendaya is a producer on the show, and Barbie had an issue with her storyline this season, and she may not be back next season, okay? Um, there were reports all last year about how she walked off set several times, and um, she actually had little screen time because of that um with that being said she thinks that allegedly zendaya is being favorited on set um and that she gets to kind of do whatever she wants um if you notice she don't have any nudity scenes or anything like that but that's because she signed a no nudity clause when she signed up for the role and it's not zendaya's fault that she's the most popping person on the show um a lot of the other cast members are not as big as Zendaya, okay? And let's just be all the way 1,000. Um, but I do think that Barbie should be on next season's Euphoria. I feel like she's a good supporting actress um, for Alexa Demi. I feel like I like their chemistry together. Um, so I do want to see her next season, but I would not be shocked if she gets the boot. Moving on to Chloe Bailey. So cry for me. Uh, which is by um, Chloe and features the artist Black um, has officially leaked. Um, I have not listened to the full song yet, um, but fans are not happy about it and Chloe is not happy about it either. But in my opinion, I feel like Chloe waited too late to release the song. The song is over a year old. Okay, so I have no sympathy for Chloe. Um, the song should have been released. I understand that the Queen Bee is sabotaging her and, you know, controls when she releases. But the point of the matter is you can't have songs in a stash for years and expect it not to be leaked. Okay, this happens to Drake all the time. Drake has so many songs in a stash and then magically they end up on you know youtube or soundcloud so what chloe should have done was released the song a long time ago but allegedly you know columbia was telling her not to release this as a single yet but i think it would have been a nice r&b record for her in black um do i feel like it would have been beneficial for chloe's career no um but i do feel like you know chloe is talented and the song probably is fire so if you guys do have the link to the song, um, please send it to me via Instagram, Ash Miracle underscore, and maybe I will review it on Station Head, okay? Um, so let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.